new, even more retro future sick design, return of the glass sandwich, titanium band, punch hole face ID, camera unbumped, and yeah, lightning port. It's the iPhone 14, not 13, 14. And I hear you, I feel you, but hold on. I'm Renee Ritchie, thanks Ting for sponsoring, let's do this. Now, it's not at all unusual to hear about next iPhones before we even get to the new iPhones. Apple tends to work two to three years ahead, so all sorts of stuff tends to start leaking, to start making the rounds, and early. It's not even entirely unheard of to get design leaks wicked early either, even from famous outlets and indies that sometimes turn out just fine, sometimes turn out the opposite of that. Because many things, so many things, can slip or trip twixt a leak and a ship. We've actually been hearing about the iPhone 14 since before the iPhone 12 came out last year, and I'll get to some of those reports in a roundup minute. Case in point, render raid boss John Prosser just dropped one whole entire unit of an iPhone 14 report, easily one of the biggest and best polished to date. The model that we are showing you in these renders is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Starting with what John says is the design. Glass actually sits on top of the antenna bands again, just as it did on iPhone 4. See, where the iPhone 12 took us back to the squared off sides of the iPhone 5, John says the iPhone 14 is taking us backer to the full on glass and metal sandwich that was the iPhone 4, which looks just a hell of a lot cooler. And honestly, those round power buttons are just pure retro design fire but wasn't structurally as strong or durable. See, the iPhone 4 was drop dead gorgeous, as in it was gorgeous, but if you dropped it, it was dead, or at least the glass was. And ever since then, Apple has been working, continuously working on making the iPhone more and more unbreakable. Last year, that included ceramic shield or ceramic infused ion exchanged glass, but also a flush assembly that contributed significantly to the overall strength and durability. So for Apple to go all the way back to the iPhone 4 design, they'll need to figure out how to have their glass and metal sandwich and eat any potential impact too. John also says the band will be titanium, not stainless steel like it's been on the last few pros. Now, JP Morgan reported much the same a couple of months ago and the Apple Watch Edition is used both brushed and black titanium for just the last couple of generations, and titanium is stronger and lighter than stainless steel. So that could make the kind of sense that does, especially if Apple wants to shift some weight from the band and into like the battery, for example. The camera bump is mostly gone. It's just where I turn into old physicist yelling at the clouds because cameras need Z index. They need depth. Apple's currently using up to seven element lenses in the iPhone cameras, and those lenses, just they need stacking space. There have been rumors from supply chain exfiltrator extraordinaire Guomingchi that Apple's been exploring periscope zooms, which basically angle the camera assembly sideways to fit a much longer lens into little foam bodies. But periscopes take up a lot of space inside. And so far they've only been needed for zooms, telephotos, not wide angles or ultra wide angles. And given how important and competitive cameras are to iPhone customers, it's hard to see Apple doing anything that would risk the optics of their optics. In fact, another of Guo's reports said Apple was looking at 48 megapixel sensors for the iPhone 14, basically 4X pixel binning up from the iPhone 12, enough to provide for 8K video as well, which could be just table stakes by then. And I mean, maybe Apple's come up with some hybrid assembly, or they're leaning even less on big camera and more on big compute or they're just gonna use that glass sandwich combined with the titanium band to sit on top and pave up and around the camera bump. Because the problem with just making the iPhone thicker and filling it up with more battery, which is the most frequent uninformed hot take in tech, is that battery isn't frosting. It's not yummy and delicious, it is problematic. It blocks radio waves, it keeps in heat, and it's heavy. And there's a limit on just how heavy mainstream customers are willing to go for their phones for extended reading and watching and gaming and doom scrolling, especially for a phone with the market size of the iPhone, even the Pro. It's still lightning. I know, I know. And believe me, we double, triple check this. And yes, even after repeated rumors from Guo, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, and others that a portless or MagSafe only model was in the works, wireless is still so inefficient and less reliable though, 
no love lost there, but Lightning also seems to be aging out or being allowed to age out. I mean, Apple originally went with Lightning because they needed to ship the iPhone 5 in 2012. The 30 pin dock connector just wouldn't fit into it and USB-C wouldn't be ready until the MacBook in 2015. And even then was an absolute disaster in terms of quality control and consistency for way, way too long. But where the 30 pin dock connector was killed off end of life, after 10 years, iPhone 14 would mark 11 years for Lightning. And where the 30 pin dock was updated frequently to the limits of those pins, Lightning just hasn't been. It's still a bit thinner than USB-C and Apple has incredibly tight control over quality and consistency, but it's nowhere nearly as fast as USB 3.1, let alone Thunderbolt 3 or 4. And in the age of 10-bit 4K HDR, never mind the 12-bit 8K XDR that's coming, not having the same level of pro connector on the pro iPhone that we have on the pro iPads and pretty much every Mac is just Kevin Sorbo levels of disappointing. Finally, the notch is gone. Which is something Guo Ming Chi reported on previously as well. And assuming Apple really can integrate the infrared camera dot projector and flood illuminator either below the display or in the juncture between the display and the earpiece without compromising their scanning quality or the display quality, shrinking the notch down to a hole punch around the last remaining RGB Soul Survivor camera also makes the absolute kind of sense that does, especially since existing phones, the ones that do shove the RGB camera under the display have ended up compromising both those things badly. And since notches, hole punchers, and mechanical choochers, what chooch cameras up and down, all come with their own sets of compromises, why not just minimize as much of that as you can? Now there's still one big, as in small, as in big rumor we need to cover. And I'll get to that in a minute, but. Now we don't know about the internals. Previous reports have said the iPhone 14 will include an Apple A16 chipset, potentially the first chipset on TSMC's even shrunk it or three nanometer process. Also Qualcomm's X65 modem because Apple custom modems are still a few years away. And according to Guo and Mark, may support either novel or improved emergency satellite messaging and disaster reporting features. And of course, there's that in-display touch ID sensor that like so much of the future seems to always be coming, just never quite arriving. Also, according to Guo, there won't be an iPhone 14 mini. Instead, Apple will shift towards a second iPhone 14 Max, a non-pro Max. So start saving now because Hulk smashing your phone bill in half has just never been easier than it is with today's sponsor, Ting. Get talk and text for just 10 bucks a month, data plan starting at 15 and unlimited from 45. So whether you use two or 20 gigabytes a month, you can find the perfect plan for you and your family with Ting. And it works with all the latest iPhones, 12, 13, 14, sure. Galaxies, flips and folds, pixels, pretty much anything with a SIM card. And you can keep your existing number if you want to. Plus you get access to the best nationwide coverage in America, as well as Ting's award-winning customer service. Just go to renee.ting.com to check out the plans and see how much you can save, because it could be a lot. And because you're watching this video, you'll also get $25 off. So just click on the link below or go to renee.ting.com and get $25 off. Clicking on that link really helps out the channel. And so it is hitting up the playlist above to see everything Apple has coming your way this fall. Just hit it up and I'll see you in the next video.